Hello everybody. Hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. Welcome to today's session on Android framework components uh, on seven biggest Android app development trends in 2023. Wishing everyone a happy new year 2023. Let's get started with today's session and by the way this is Dimple here. Android developers are striving to stay competitive and increase user engagement keeping the latest trends in mind. So in this video we shall I'll discuss what are these latest trends android application developers are trying to improvise and implement in 2023 let's get started the first feature or trend i wanted to discuss is instant apps the main idea of instant apps is to allow users to try applications or games before installing them to the device you all can see there are two options try now and install so they can try playing the games if they like only then they can go ahead and install that particular game it helps to get more installs of the application this technology is useful for e-commerce business and games instant applications allow playing a particular game for a while after that users can decide whether to download the game to their device or not so i hope it's clear and what are the benefits of this instant apps feature is that you'll have full access to android apps without downloading the application you can get to know the ui design of the application sometimes we uh, download the apps we don't like the ui if, if, because it will be very heavy or with very um, difficult ui okay uh, then we go ahead and uninstall so those things can be avoided by this instant apps and also we'll get more storage because devices won't be full of various apps that users open only once and will have compatibility with lot of android devices last benefit is that it's very very easy to de be developed from the android studio it's similar to how we develop other android apps easily from android studio you can also develop instant apps next we will see multi platform development using the language called flutter so multi platform development is the second trend google is working on the future of android development includes new technology from google which is nothing but flutter this flutter framework allows developing apps with a native interface for platforms like android and ios so using flutter we can develop apps both in android as well as for ios a lot of developers choose flutter due to its flexibility and flutter framework offers to use native widgets of android and ios so it supports both the kernel level native features for both android as well as ios this is one of the reason we can use flutter for native apps also another reason is that flutter helps in developing applications for both platforms at the same time reducing the development time so it's easy to learn with available resources there are multiple resources available on the net like videos articles documentation podcast all these are released by google so that flutter is easily understood and you can develop apps which target both ios as well as android at a same time reducing the development time so you can see some of the apps are already using flutter um, they are already built using flutter for example google ads reflectly alibaba birch finance and hooky these apps are uh, compatible both on android as well as ios and they are developed using the flutter language so multi platform development was the second trend i wanted to talk about let's move on to the third trend third trend is ai based applications artificial intelligence and machine learning based applications so these technologies analyze the user behavior and interactions with an app and make more precise suggestions so based on how the user is using various options on his phone based on that these uh, apps will basically provide some suggestions to the user for example social networks can offer the content visitors are interested in Netflix analyzes what kind of show users watch and recommend similar movies. LinkedIn uses A1 
okay so linkedin uses artificial intelligence to offer appropriate work offers that the particular uh, user might be interested in and there are several apis for these artificial intelligence like face api text api barcode api each of this has a particular role and based on the users interaction users data uh, and information it will provide suggestions to that particular user so ai based applications are already there as of today but in 2023 google is trying to improvise it further so that it will be more helpful so this was the third feature i wanted to talk about next let us go to chatbots chatbots is another trend google is focusing on so um, customers appreciate chatbot for their uh, fast responses and ability to ensure 24 bar 7 right so chatbots are one of the android development latest trends one of the chatbot example is hello hipmunk this hipmunk uh, is one of the example i wanted to provide here this bot helps to plan a trip the main goal is to save your time hipmunk is one of the example for chatbot and it helps in trip planning the main goal is to save your time it can book flights and hotels find lowest prices and more so this is one of the next trends i wanted to talk about chatbots next is android jetpack so, <coughs> so what exactly is this android jetpack so android jetpack is nothing but it's a suit full of libraries tools and guidelines that helps developers create advanced applications so jetpack contains guidelines libraries tools all the important apis functions all these for the developers to create advanced applications the primary purpose of this set is to simplify routine development task google offers a structured documentation making it easy to start using this tool so documentations are there in google uh, very clear documentation structured documentation is provided by google so that uh, it uh, the libraries tools and guidelines provided by this jetpack are easily understood by the app developers <clears throat> to create advanced application and there are uh, different components to this jetpack like foundation architecture behavior ui all these so the latest android development trends include android jetpack since it makes development faster as well as easier next we'll move on to on demand apps on demand apps is another trend so one of the main trend for android app development is nothing but improving customer service right they always depend on customer satisfaction if customer is happy then obviously the de- app developer is happy so the main focus here is improving the customer service on demand apps helps to do everyday tasks faster and more comfortably they follow various purposes okay there can be uh, grocery delivery apps taxi related applications cleaning services and so on on demand apps can analyze users location and offer the required services we are already seeing a lot of on demand apps nowadays where uh, they based on the location they come to your place and offer different types of services so google map shows nearby petrol stations and restaurants that's also one of the example for on demand apps so already this on demand apps are in place yet google is striving harder to bring uh, this into a new form which is still more comfortable and um, helpful for the customers so customers can basically get instant services using these on demand applications so that was about on demand applications basically uh, it um, focuses on giving instant services to the customer to the place wherever they are right let's move on to our next trend 
internet of things this technology is useful for industries like healthcare uh, logistics e-commerce and so on for example there are a lot of healthcare devices right so that track health condition and they transfer the collected data to the doctor the doctor might need not always be with the patient or the doctor may need not always be working at the hospital he he will have multiple commitments of different patients right so if there is any emergency situations using this iot we can collect the patient's data about the patient's health condition and we can transfer this information to the particular doctor it's also useful in education field and there are lots of learning projects like edmodo cpen nimi etc and for example edmodo offers various opportunities like communication collaboration and more so yeah again um, much research is going on like how using this internet of things we can make the users life more uh, flexible more easy and more happy yeah these were the different trends seven different trends uh in 2023 i wanted to talk about where app developers are uh, focusing on so let's summarize once again instant apps was the first trend we spoke about the second one is multi platform development using flutter third one was artificial intelligence and machine learning applications so we can see already netflix linkedin tinder google maps all these are already using this technologies and there are many more apps to come the fourth one was chatbots where hipmunk trip planning is one of the example i have tried to provide you the fifth one is android jetpack and on demand apps was the sixth one seventh one was internet of things so i hope this session gave you all some idea about what google is striving to provide in the applications in 2023 thanks everyone for your time and watching this video i'll see you all soon in my next session with a new topic until then everyone take care stay home stay safe signing off temple bye